I do want to tell you about access points. So access points are, okay, so if you think about our scenario, uh, we have a simple use case. We have an S3 bucket and a compute instance, and those two things and only those two things need to interact. But what if you had, for example, um, you were a collection of scientists on the one side generating data about the pandemic and pushing that into an S3 bucket. And then you wanted the world to be able to retrieve that data. Okay, so you now have two use cases, two sets of permissions. What you can do is attach what are called access points onto the S3 bucket and have different ones. And you target that, so one for the scientists, one for the public, and probably one for you know, the owner of the actual S3 bucket. Now, going back to public access, you'll remember that some of those were on access points too. So these things get complex. I'm running out of time. Um, but uh, access points, the only time you need to think about access points are when you have multiple different sets of restrictions on data in the same S3 bucket. Uh, generally speaking, um, I would recommend that if you have data that has different kinds of access privilege requirements on it, that you have more than one bucket. But, but that is, um, uh, that is uh, uh, there for that, that particular use case.